It's been a while since I uh, made a recording like that. I'm gonna be talking now, but I may just completely do a voiceover. That's why I don't have the proper microphone. I'm just using the phone mic and let's see how this goes. This is a package and you could see it is, well, it's, it's sealed, but uh, there's a marking here, inspected. So it has been opened before, see, open and resealed for ICA inspection. And by the way, this package is from Giant Mouse. So yeah, really exciting stuff. I've never received anything from Giant Mouse before. So super looking forward to that. Here we go. Oh, they resealed it in a pretty crappy way, but okay. Wow, like everything's been opened up. Okay, not everything. This one looks completely sealed still. Just, just this one here. Wait, what is this? What? Oh, <laughs> oh my god. It's cool swag. Look at that. It's a giant mouse crew neck sweater, guys. Damn, this looks so good. Oh my god, I love it. Let's just uh take a look at this then. <sighs> giant mouse. Oh my god. Let's put this open. Okay, I have no idea what the contents of these packages are. See on the bottom here. This is the Clyde Micarta. And this one over here has no markings on the box. Yeah, there's no indication of what is inside. So I think this is going to be a standalone unboxing video with pretty bad audio. So I hope you guys don't mind. Okay, I don't want to ruin the box. So push it forward and lift it up. I'm so excited. Okay, at this point, you know, quick shout out to Giant Mouse Knives for sending these my way. And especially a big shout out also to Jack Farm Boy for making it happen. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is the Clyde, guys. Okay, it's got brass. I think this might be brass, but you know what? I'm gonna sacrifice my fingers. I don't care. This might be a brass thumb stud. I don't know. I'll just have to look up the specs later, but this looks to be possibly a brass backspacer. Let's not deploy it first. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Let's check out what's inside this package then. I still don't know the name of this. So, oh my goodness. I know which knife this one is. This was just recently featured on the Giant Mouse Knives Instagram page. This is the Nazca. So guys, both of these knives here are from the Ace line, the Clyde and the Nazca. I hope I'm pronouncing it right, the Nazca. Nazca? I think it's Nazca, so I'm just gonna say Nazca. So let's just really quickly take the opportunity to, you know, just kind of go over the aesthetics of these. So the Clyde, first of all, uh, I'm not going to be talking about all the specs and everything. I'm going to be doing separate videos on these guys. But the Clyde, just a really quick look. As you can see, it features beautiful micarta scales. These are a beautiful, beautiful brown color. I love it. And then it's got a backspacer here. It's got a wire pocket clip. I love wire pocket clips, by the way. And it looks to be a liner lock. As you can see, thumb stud deployment as well. A little bit of jimping uh, right on the spine of the blade up here. And the spine of the blade overall is very nicely rounded. Right, so it's got a nice curve right there. Yeah, they've got a lanyard slot, of course. And we can just kind of roll it open. Oh, that is nice. That is smooth. So that's the blade, guys. Check it out. It's got a kind of like a stonewashed, yet a little bit satin finish. The edge is really, really nicely done. And on the back here, it says it's in Elmax, guys. Elmax steel right there. That's the amount of lockup. Oh, it is so smooth. This is really smooth right out of the box. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> yes, that works. Oh, man. Okay, so I've been deploying it with my fingernail just behind the thumb stud. But I want to try and see if I can deploy it with my thumb on the thumb stud. But wait, before I do that, uh, yeah, I'm putting that crew neck on and it smells like freshly packed cardboard because it's been in the cardboard box the entire time. But here we go. It's a nice fit. Really, really comfy and very snug. And let's try with my thumb on the thumb stud itself. Let's see if I can deploy it. Oh, not a problem, guys. Look at that. That's just... And to me, that's a sign of really, really well done fit and finish. What am I saying? Really, really good fit and finish. Like in terms of the build and quality, that is good. Detent is dialed in nicely. The geometry and everything is just, just 
perfect, right? This is my new rendition of a chef's kiss. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, you see my thumb on the thumb stud. That deployment. Beautiful, beautiful. On to the Nazca. Also, micarta scales. These are contoured. They are kind of rounded. And the micarta here looks a bit darker than uh, on... Oh, wait, hold on. There's this little plastic thing that I didn't even realize. So there's a little plastic tab here that's kind of like it acts as a protection between that pocket clip and the scale when it's being packed so that's a really nice touch so you know it won't get scuffed up during shipment or whatever well done well done giant mouse knives okay so going back to the micarta i was talking about it looks darker here on the nazca versus what's on the clyde but Mainly that's because of the way my carta is made, right? If you look at the side, it is the same shade, right? And that's because the Clyde here has a flat surface, as you guys can see, right? It's flat. And so that depends on the variance, right? You know, one of the cool properties of my carta is that because of the way you cut it and the way you finish it, no two pieces are going to be the same. But the lock side, you can see it's slightly darker, much closer to this here on the Nazca. But yeah, you can see that the Nazca, right? It is slightly contoured. It's a bit rounded. So you see a bit of differences, right? In terms of the kind of grain of the micarta. That's just really beautiful. And yes, it features a wire pocket clip as well. Lanyard slot. Nice, solid, chunky back spacer. And the biggest obvious difference here is that this features a crossbar lock. Right? I don't know what the exact term that Giant Mouse Knife is going to use for this locking system but it is basically the same as a Benchmade Axis Lock. But I think that it is widely known as a crossbar lock. Yeah, I'll, I'll correct myself when I'm actually doing a proper review of this knife here. It's got dual lug thumb studs and the thumb studs though, the thumb studs have some awesome detailing. Look at that. So there are some nice steps machined to those thumb studs there. And they're very, very nicely finished and not sharp at all. Don't bite into your skin or whatever. And you've got a little bit of jimping up here on the spine of this this blade, oh, I love the fact that there's a small recessed area here as well. So let's deploy it. I'll use my usual method and let's just try it this way. That's nice. That's very, very nice. Look at that blade, guys. Almost the same kind of finish, but it has a more aggressive... This feels like a clip point, right? Rather than a typical drop point, but very, very nice geometry of the blade. And on the flip side, it says Ace M390, guys. So another super steel. LMAX M390. Wow. So you disengage it this way and that was really smooth. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> my first time and that was so smooth. Okay, I'm going to try deploying it again with my thumb on the thumb stud instead of behind for the Nazca and it works. It works perfectly fine. Or this, this though, okay, you've got to move the sleeve away a little bit. The crossbar lock on this one, super smooth. Oh, this is not like, it's not a struggle to actuate at all. Like for example, on Benchmade knives, right? Sometimes that access lock is so difficult to disengage. Like it just feels like what is going on? But look at this one. The moment you pull it back, the blade comes out a little bit. So the blade geometry actually helps. So if I hold it this way and I pull it back, yeah, then the blade just swings out. Wow, that actually helps to keep or close the blade. So we could flick it open, pull back on the lock bar, cross bar lock, lock bar. Yeah, I think this is the lock bar. And then just flip it down. Once it's there, all we gotta do is just let go. And it just kind of sucks itself in. That is mad. I haven't finished the aesthetics of this thing yet. Sorry guys, I need to slow my roll. Sorry, I got too far ahead again. Ambidextrous locking mechanism, of course. And you've got a reversible pocket clip slot. So this is an ambidextrous knife, like totally ambidextrous. As you can see, just flip this over to that side. Tip up carry only, but you don't need tip down anyway. I'm gonna try deploying it with my middle finger. I, I don't think that's gonna work, but let's just give it a shot anyway. Nah, it's not working. Oh wait, I take that back. I just did it. How cool is that? Wow. Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? <laughs> wait a minute. Okay. So if I slowly roll it out, you could kind of feel the actuation point when you close it. Wow. That is nice. <laughs> oh goodness. I'm having a bit too much fun right now. Uh, yeah, uh, I just wanted to show this off to you guys because what an honor and how awesome this is. 
giant mouse knives sending me two beautiful knives and some really awesome swag as well thank you giant mouse knives and to everyone stay tuned because i'm going to be doing separate videos for each of these knives you know i'm going to have to put them on my EDC, carry them for a little while. Of course, not to everywhere here in Singapore. You guys know it's a little bit sensitive right now, but at least I'll be carrying them. And even if I do bring them out of the house, it will be concealed carry. But still, I'm going to be putting it in my pocket when I'm indoors, just to kind of get a feel of how they carry in the pocket, you know, and spend some quality time with each of these, then do separate videos of them. So stay tuned for that. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this so far. Once again, a big shout out to Giant Mouse Nice. Thank you once again, everyone, for watching. And I'll catch all of you in my next slice. But stay tuned for these two. Okay, bye. Oh!